I would did want to just get your thoughts about me too. There's some things you have to step around in this industry. Yes. And the reality is, is that, that, that was a reality. It's changing. It, and, and, and you know what? I'm, I'm glad it's changing because seeing my daughter go through sure. her journey and no, she has not had to do half of the, I mean, not even a quarter of what I've had to go through sure. in, back in my day. Sure. Um, and I think the women who have gone through, um, that I, I think it's it's a powerful movement. I think it's wonderful, um, and I'm happy that it is happening now. Yeah, I really wish it would have happened back then. Yeah, just just even the open conversation. I think it was to a certain degree, mm -hmm. um, but I think female um, women women in general, young, old, I don't give a crap how old we are, just in general, we need to be supportive of each other. Mm -hmm. um, and I just notice it sometimes on, like from high school on, mm -hmm. you know, we're so catty and we're so jealous and we're so, we need to support because everybody feels the same way you're feeling. And if we can have a conversation about it, yeah. it's the one thing I had with my daughter. I have a conversation. Sure. You, you don't let anybody, you know, t you don't have to do anything that doesn't make you feel comfortable. Right. I did not have that conversation with my mother. And yeah. so I went through thinking that, um, my mother told me to be nice and, and, you know, I, and, and so I went through life thinking I had to be nice to everybody sure, sure. and, and not that that's not a good thing, yeah. but she, I never was told that you have to, if, if somebody touches sure. you a certain way or somebody yeah. wants something from you in a different way you need to stand up for yourself and say hey no and you can do it in the nicest way possible sure. there's i tell my daughter that all the time yeah you know you don't make them feel bad or anything but you can stand up for yourself right. and if if they're you know going to be an ass fuck them then you know i don't i think we we as women and i just need to stick together i mm. really do i would have given any of that. I mean, I, you see it on Instagram. We're catty to each other. I mean, I'm not. I won't. If I don't like mm -hmm. something, I don't say anything. But people feel like w their opinion, just because they have an opinion about something, that sure. they need to speak it. We need to embrace. We need to um, create a trust that we can say, hey, you know, everything's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. You're beautiful. You know, when that person's feeling down or you don't need to do that because you're yeah. better than that. Or so... Yeah, I mean that that is I think what the Me Too movement has is brought is that we all have to stick together. So hopefully, you know, that will get out across. We yeah. don't need to be mean to the world, <laughs> right. whatever, but we need to be empowered yeah. and women need to be empowered at day one. Yeah. This full exposure podcast episode has been made possible through the support of Metro Health, University of Michigan Health, and Dr. Peter Hahn who believe that creativity and the arts are essential to a rich, healthy, and fulfilling life.